What's up everybody? I really want to show you the main motivation I have for moving into my own place because of daily things I have to deal with from other people. You ready? Let's go. Alright, this is the kitchen. And it's been like this for the past like six years. Probably longer than that. Take a look at this banister. This banister has been like this for the last 20 years. We've never had a normal banister handrail for the for the, uh, you know, the stairs. Uh, come on, follow me some more. So, Christmas time came, and this room got repaired, barely, and you can see that is our breaker box, and it's in the wall, and it's safe and all that kind of stuff, but it took an act of Congress to get that motherfucker in the wall. I am tired of having to deal with people, and like, look at the balcony. Look, look at the balcony. And people wonder why we have so much trouble. Like, life is not all peachy and keen here, all right? We've had a hole in that balcony for years. We've had a hole in the balcony for years, multiple holes in the balcony, because literally this son bitch is coming off the front of the fucking house. You can see a crack right down in here, look. Look at this shit. Ah! What? What? I am making this video because I want to show you guys what life has really cost me. So you're going to get to see first hand. You motherfuckers won't learn today! <laughs> and of course, you all know what the studio looks like. It took an act of Congress to get this. My family still hates me because I did this shit. But I'm here to tell you, I don't care what they think because none of them have any hopes and dreams, much less a job that where they earn any money. So that's not my problem. Get a job, make some money. I've been on YouTube since 2008. Started taking it seriously in March of 2020, I think, or 2021, when our stuff finally started taking off. I made something of myself because I didn't have a choice. Okay, my mom passed away in 2018. I miss her very much. And then the only other parent that I have is one that it feels like I'm just waiting to bury. And I'm not making this as a plea for help. I'm making this because I want to show you guys the truth. I want to stop hiding behind the edited videos and I want to start showing you all what my life has really been like and why it takes so long to make content because I really want you all to understand that I love this and there was nothing in the world that I would rather be doing. So let's go to another part of the house. So you can see the kitchen. All right, here's a fun fact. We haven't had hot water. We haven't had hot water in probably two years. I've taken cold showers this entire time. Like we have cold water because of the well and I'm surprised that it hasn't frozen but if I, as far as I know there is a freeze level where it no longer freezes in the ground. Did you know that? I didn't know that. So we got cold water and so as somebody who has nerve damage in my neck from wrestling in high school like cold showers fucking suck. Okay they literally make me freeze up and I can't move so it sucks. It, it's the worst thing. Look at this. My sister and everybody, they just leave food all over the counter. Like, this is something that I can't combat by myself. I don't have this much artillery. Here, let's go into another part of the house. So this is where the main fire happened. This is where the main fire happened. And this has been a staple of my house for the last, since November the 6th at 5, 10 in the morning when the fire actually happened. Okay, and it's probably still really dark, so I'm gonna try and stand in the light. We got this A-frame built, and this was the last bit of work that happened, and this was done before Christmas. This was done before Christmas. Let me show you something else. This has been this way for like eight years. All right? Look at this shit. This, a decade. I don't even know what the purpose of this is. This is the kind of dumb shit that I have to deal with on a daily basis. And they wonder why I'm getting a gray streak on the side of my head. <sighs> Come on, we ain't done yet. The dining room that has water damage, but all this furniture and everything that you see in here is the result of my sister taking over my bedroom in the back, which was supposed to be my studio and all that stuff, and just completely going slack over the last three to five years. And not doing a single thing, and having all these different projects and never actually completing anything. Do you want to record this too? Come on, let's record this too while we're here. All right. Yeah. So now we are outside as I take my little puppers out to use the restroom because she's the only thing besides Josh and my YouTube that I care about in the world anymore. Um, so as you can see, clearly, <laughs> I live in a motherfucking mansion. <laughs> a fucking prime set of real estate in the heart of where I live Something that should be worth a half a million dollars is barely worth a hundred grand now because the people that I live with cannot be bothered to be motivated about even the slightest things. If somebody else tells them something to do or asks them, hey, this is a problem, can you help fix it? They don't do it. And you can ask Josh, not to drag him down in it, but my family is obstinate on purpose. They will do shit to spite people. 
to fuck with you because that's just who they are. And I'm not like them. I never have been, and this is why I've always lived in such a weird disconnect between them and my family. And I love you guys, but I hate you because none of you have ever really stopped long enough to truly understand me. And that's your fault because I think I'm pretty cool. I do a lot of neat shit. <laughs> Came back inside to get a little bit of a jacket. It is freezing outside. So this is the downstairs. Uh, check out that hole over there in the wall. Dixie digs that shit out because there's field mice that come through the walls sometimes. Yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous. It's a little bit ridiculous. So let's go outside and we'll talk to y'all a little bit. On the, I don't really want to show up at dad's room. That's too pathetic. That's been their story for years. I don't ask for much. I just want my own path in this world so I can start making my own difference. You know, ever since I can remember, my life has been kind of this somebody else living it for me thing. And, and it, it all started with the wrestling and my parents, my mom being the avid weightlifter and all that. She really wanted to live through her kids. And my dad was just kind of along for the ride, I should say. Uh, he went to work and would never really have the time or energy to spend with us the way we were supposed to. And that dissolved into a shit ton of arguments. And then that dissolved into a shit ton of punishment. And it was just no fun. And uh, this is why this video is being made because I really want you guys to see why it is that I'm trying to save up for a house, okay? And to get my own place. And I'm only gonna be able to do it doing videos like this and more reacts because this is the stuff that's creatively, uniquely original. And I get to speak my mind and I get to show you guys the real me, which I hope that's what you wanna see. And really get my thoughts out there and it helps keep my mind sane. It's almost like having a therapist. <laughs> Pretty good. So, because I do feel a, lot better, a lot better even just recording the, what, seven, eight minutes we've gotten of this video already? Just being able to get this stuff off my chest. Here's a perfect example of the bullshit that I live with. Let me show you guys something. Here's a funny story. Look at my car. All right, you see my car? Just look at this whole scenario. You see something that looks wrong with it? All right, look, right here. All right, what do you reckon that is? All right, let me tell you a fucking story. <laughs> this is just like on the other side too. They're both the same. So when I lived in the very back room back there, I had my car parked in the back and my sister's dog, who is a big pit bull named Dixie, had a bad habit of chasing after animals and shit and I did that to my car <laughs> and tore out the underside of it and completely screwed up my fenders trying to get to either an animal on the hood or in the fender well, I don't know, but I do know that that dog did it because it only happened when I parked it there one time. <laughs> and the next morning I came out and it was like that. <sighs> I just don't understand it either. And I'm also framing in this spot because I want you guys to see. I want you all to see what it is that I live with. Two campers, not any fun. I live in the house, I don't understand. And they're using more power outside of the house than I am inside the house. How does that work? We just had the Marshals Department over here too, citing us court date on January 13th that we just got cleared for. And like, I've never been able to do anything that I've wanted to do except within the bounds of, you know, what I have. I've never been able to actually truly expand into anything like I want. It's always been do this, do that. Don't wear this, don't wear that. And I'm tired of being somebody else's person. I'm ready to be Nick Leftwich. I'm ready to be me. And I'm ready to show you all what it is that I want to do because I want to get back into playing piano. I want to get back into playing my guitar, start writing music, doing lives for that stuff. I'm tired of not having anything fun to look forward to when I wake up except more work and more YouTube videos, which I love doing this, but it does get really hard to keep going on with that every day, sitting in the same room. It feels like a jail cell, and I'm tired of living in a jail cell, y'all. Living here is like being in prison. Neither of them have jobs. My dad's supposed to be retired. I'm trying to take care of him, but all the money that I have goes straight towards the power bill. You know, I do side jobs like cutting grass and doing all that kind of stuff, picking up little things here and there. So, I mean, I make extra money, but even that goes into the power bill because they don't pay money. They don't have money. And I'm not saying that they haven't done anything, but what I am saying is priorities need to be reshifted big time. 
because at one time I did love here. I let I did love it here at one time, but now I just it's darkness, Charlie Murphy. Darkness, darkness, Charlie Murphy. And I don't want to think of darkness anymore. I want to be light. I want to be happy. I want to be the fun Nick that is that where caffeine affects me again, y'all. So it is my hopes that with these videos, you know, I'm kind of able to show you guys the inside part of my life and to show you all what it is that I deal with and how hard it is to do this, but how determined I am to be sure this gets done and to show you guys what it's like living a life of music and living a life of pursuing your dreams and living a life of pursuing your hopes and dreams and like what that kind of shit will cost you. Like this is honestly the first video I think you and I have done, Josh, where I'm outside the room walking around and recording, isn't it? It's the first one. So, and this actually feels really natural, like believe it or not. We'll get you some shades because you're in the sun. We'll get you all kinds of stuff set up. I want to get Josh a gimbal so that way he can help with this stuff. And y'all, we just have so many ideas. And I really hope that this 10 to 15 minutes of recording that we've done uh, actually sticks because I'm recording into my phone like how they used to do for the old timey videos so I can get my audio and he's got the camera. So we're just going to blend them together because that's what we do. We make do with what you got. So if there's anything that you can learn from this video, and I'll leave you with this. And then this will be the end of this video. So if you want me to stand in the sunlight, I will. But if there's one thing that you can learn from me, y'all, okay, it's that failure is the victory march, the persistent, and the determined or swayed not. Which means that if you have any kind of goal, any kind of dream, anything, please pursue that dream. And do not let anything, don't let anything stop you from pursuing that dream. Not your family, not friends, not life itself. The only thing that can stop you from reaching your goals and dreams should be the literal aspect of death. Fight until your last breath. Persistence this day, y'all. 